Well, hi again. Um, for those of you that saw my video or my clip on the Super Pup Mark IV walk around, I stated during that that the wing folding procedure on this is really easy. You can do it in, um, well, I think I said under five minutes or about five minutes. So we're going to put that to the test today. So this is a wing folding demonstration of a Super Pup Mark IV. Now, I have raised the tail of the aircraft. Um, you can do it with the tail down, of course. But with full tanks of fuel and the wing, the wing can go back fairly steady and you've got to have a good grab on it. So I've put the tail up just to make it easier for the demonstration purpose. Um, chock the wheels, really important that the wheels are chocked because you don't want the aircraft moving around. Well, mind you, this surface, it'll be all right. But if you're on bitumen or something, um, it would uh, tend to move around a little maybe. So what we're going to do, remove the turtle deck. So that's a section behind the trailing edge of the wing. That only has four quarter turn screws. Take the turtle deck off. Make sure your flaps are up. If the flaps are down, they will dig in about where the Aussie flag is on the side and um, down into the side of the aircraft and the flap, of course. So here's the demo. Let's see how we go. I've got a stopwatch. So I'm putting myself to the test here. Uh, dear old iPhone. So there we are. I don't know if you can see that or not. Zero, zero. So let's hit start. Okay. Stopwatch has started. So we'll go with the turtle deck um, first. A decent multi-tool or super tool. Really important to have for old guys. Undo the four quarter turn screws. Hopefully you can hear me okay on this side of the plane. Pop them in your pocket. Now these quarter turn screws on this aircraft actually come out, some stay in I know, um, but pop them in your pocket because it'll really wreck your day if you, uh, you get somewhere to fly and you've lost your quarter turn screws. They come off, tool back in the pocket. Now the, the turtle deck basically lift, slide back and up and the turtle deck comes off. So that's just pressed aluminium and folded and all night. Um, Make sure you put that out of the wind or not near the aircraft where you're going to walk on it because it'll damage it. Maybe if you're towing, put it in the vehicle and then it's out of the way because it will damage easily. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you here is that's a little piece of quarter rod or six mil rod with a loop on the end. That's fairly important for um, removing the leading edge bolts that hold the wing on. It's six mil or quarter, as I said. The bolts themselves are 516 or 8 mil. R clip and a castle nut. So turn the castle nut. Now I'm going to bring those over closer so you can see them. The castle nut is welded to the end of a piece of tube, which just takes up that distance so as you can get your fingers to the end and an R clip. That's all that holds them on and they're only finger tight. There's no need to have them done up tight because the bolts themselves are in shear so they're never going to break push it up and that's what this tool is for we push the bolt up we can see it up top pull the bolt out got the tool still sitting in here so a bolt in the pocket you can now grab the strut drop that tool out and the wing folds and it's really that simple um, Normally they would go back with a bit more of a rush if the tail is on the ground. So, R clip in the pocket, undo. Now this bolt is turning. So all we do is apply a little bit of pressure to the leading edge. That'll hold it firm. That's done. That comes off. The little tool once again, push the bolt up. We can see it now coming out of the top. Grab the bolt in your pocket. Grab the strut, drop out your tool, and that wing now just folds back. Now with the Super Pup on the Mark IV, the fuel lines, they give an excess and a slight loop in here. So there's no need to disconnect any fuel lines. The ailerons and the flaps are all run by Bowden cables, the same as you would have in a motorboat for the controls. So there's no need to disconnect anything. That's it, wings are folded tool back in the pocket you don't want to lose that either the only additional thing here is that you can keep this in the aircraft because this little apparatus here that is as you 
you can see it's just a piece of timber and it's notched out either side bits of rubber glued in one in the center that connects onto the inner strut which is normally your trailing edge strut that will connect either side spin up the wing nut this section goes over the vertical on the fin which is 4130 chrome molly that will stop the wings moving around now that's it oh actually we hit the stopwatch uh stop three minutes and 56 seconds and that's explaining how to do it and i didn't pre-organize anything here apart from lifting the tail of the aircraft it really is that simple so if you've got hangerage issues or you're the sort of person that trailers your plane around your tour around or even if you're camping and you're in the middle of nowhere now i'm in south aussie it's about 38 degrees at the moment hence the flies and we are prone to dust devils and that type of thing so if you fly somewhere and um, you're worried about a dust devil, devil coming along turning your plane over three or four minutes and it's folded and it puts a lot of weight onto the tail wheel and you feel a whole lot better if you know your plane is secure so there you go that's how you fold the wings on a mark 4 super pup cheers